Once upon a time, there was a guy named Jude. He was obscure. He lived in a town with his aunt. She was a very angry aunt and used to hurt him. He cried about it a lot. Jude had one friend in the town. He was a school teacher. But one day the school teacher decided, man, this town sucks, I'm gonna leave. Jude had no more friends, so he cried. A lot. Then one day, he was walking down the road and met a girl named Arabella. <laughs> he decided, wow, I like this girl named Arabella. You're wonderful. About two weeks later, Arabella said, oh yeah, by the way, Jude, I'm pregnant. Wait, what? So he decided, I'm going to marry her. Then he cried. Then he married her and cried. Then she said, Oh, by the way, Jude, I was only joking. I'm not really pregnant. I'm going to move to Australia now. Bye. Jude cried. Part two. Three years later, Jude, still crying like an emo, decides he's going to move to Christ Minister. And he does. Christ Minister is right here. He meets up with his cousin named Sue. His cousin named Sue. And decides that he loves her even though she's his cousin, and they've only known each other for five minutes. He meets up with his school teacher friend, who, uh, who does not remember him. Remember me? No! And he decides that because his cousin Sue is going to be forced to leave the town soon because she doesn't have a job, he'll have his old school teacher friend get her one. He does, then starts hitting on her. A lot even though he's like 20 years older than she is. Jude cries. <laughs> Part three. Jude decides one day that he's going to become a priest. He gets a note from Sue that says, Oh, Jude, you should meet me somewhere. And he does. Sue tells her, Sue tells him, rather, that she is anxious about marrying the school teacher and that she doesn't want to, and that she can love whoever she wants, even if he is her cousin. She does. Then Jude tells her about how he's married to a woman named Arabella. Sue gets very angry and then leaves. One day Jude meets Arabella in a bar because she came back from Australia for no reason. With her eye. Yes, her new eye, which she got in the surgery. She tells Jude that she wants to live with him again. I and want they to live decide with him again. to. Because she has a very masculine voice. And they decide to. Then they go to visit his aunt, who is dying. Where's Jude? Jude! Get down here! Jude goes back into his town where he was born, whatever you want to call it, and meets his aunt, who's dying because she goes sideways when she's dying. At the funeral, he meets Sue, who says, Oh, Jude, I don't want to marry the school teacher. I want to marry you. So she tries to, but then she realizes that Jude is a stupid jerk, and Jude cries, and she leaves. For some reason, Sue decides that she's going to end up marrying Jude anyway, and she does. But then Arabella shows up one day. She's like, oh, by the way, guys, surprise. When I said I wasn't pregnant, even though I said that I was, I was lying about lying. Because really, I was pregnant. Here you go. You whore. And she gives Jude and Cousin Sue a son, Jude Jr. Ah! <laughs> Jude and Sue get married, decide to find a house, then have about 30 children. They move back to Christminster because they left for some reason. Mom, and they find that they're unable to find a house to live in. Mom, Mom. Jude and Sue leave one day to go to find a new house. When they come back, they find all of their children have hanged themselves. And they're all dead. Oh my god! Why? 
Then Sue comes back, and she tells Jude, <laughs> because Sue looks like Arabella now. Jude comes back after a makeover, so she doesn't look like Arabella. And she tells Jude, You suck! I don't want to live with you anymore! All of our children kill themselves because of you! And what is that ghost doing there? Go away! And Jude cries. Woo! Sue decides that she's still married to the creepy old school teacher dude and leaves Jude. Jude cries. Then he meets Arabella again. Even though she was remarried to a guy from Australia and some kangaroos, she decides, I'm going to be with Jude now. And so she is. They move back to the town where they first met, but Jude now has some sort of lung disease and dies. Arabella is the first to discover his body, but there's some kind of festival going on outside, and she decides, yeah, I'm going to go take care of that first, then I'll tell people he's dead. <laughs> Nobody shows up to the funeral, not even Sue, because even though she still kind of loves him, she mostly hates him. Jude dies a horrible, bitter, emo person. The end. <laughs>